makeup. Well, actually, I got I got a request from my sister because she has a press con um, here in Manila, and um, she requested this this um, makeup of Miranda Curse. And um, I'll show you how I did it, and I'll show you the results as well on her. And here it is. First, I'm going to use this CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. It has SPF 20, and I'm using it in warm beige. Next, I'm going to use this Estee Lauder bronzer to slightly contour my face. Next is to highlight. Just use any light um, shade of um, press powder that you have or any powder foundation that you have. You don't necessarily have to have a contour kit just to contour your face. If you have extra powder foundations that you have there that is two shades darker than your skin tone and two shades lighter than your skin tone, then I think that is good enough to um, be able to contour and highlight your face. You don't have to have, you don't have to buy extra and spend more money on a contour kit. So next is to blend everything that you contoured and everything that you highlighted. Um, this is very important for me because it just blends out everything. So as you know, like in eyeshadows, you blend in contouring, you blend as well so that you don't have harsh lines on your face. The eyeshadow I'm going to use for my base is called Crazy Cool by MAC. I just have it in a palette and the brush I'm going to use is 213 by MAC as well. When you apply your eyeshadow, make sure you tap it on until you reach your desired intensity. Don't swipe it back and forth because you'll just leave a mess. This next color I'm going to use is called Parfait Amor. It's by MAC as well. And I'm going to use um, Smashbox brush number 10. On my crease, I'm going to use this color called Creme de Violet. It's by MAC as well. The brush I'm using is a MAC 224 blending brush. When doing your crease, make sure you blend really well so that you don't leave any harsh lines. I want to use this other purple shade from Sephora. So I want to use this color on half of my crease and on my outer eyelid. So just blend it in. When you have little product left, uh, blend it towards your inner eye. This next eyeshadow is named Contrast by MAC. I'm going to use this brush for my lower eyelids. And I'll be using Parfait Amour by MAC. Then on top of that, I'm going to put Creme de Violet by MAC as well. I'm using a small flat brush to apply this on my lower eyelid. So we go back to contrast to apply it on the outer part of your lower eyelids. I'm going to use one of my favorite brushes by Smashbox. It's a dual brush. It has a smudger and a brush on the other side. So apply it only halfway on your lower eyelid. Try to blend it so that you won't leave any harsh lines. And then take a little bit more, apply again, and connect it to your upper eyelid. For my waterline and my upper eyelids, I'm going to use this eyeliner by Makeup Forever. It's called Aqua Eyes in color 3L. Now I'm going to take my favorite brush and use the smudger side and smudge the eyeliner that I just put on. I'm going to use Contrast again by MAC to make my eyeliner look more smoky and more defined.
Now for my brows, I'm going to use Deep Dark Brunette by MAC. It's in a paint pot. And like I said, I don't. please do not use like black. So this is the perfect color. This is already dark. On top of the deep down brunette, I'm going to use this brow set from MAC. It's called Girl Boy. Applying this on, you should do it very lightly and try not to touch the skin. I love using this glue from Nichido. It's only 60 pesos. It's very, very good. I like it better than the duo. When I put on my eyelashes, I try to make sure that it's nearest to my real eyelashes so that it won't really show that you're wearing. It'll look natural and it'll look very neat on your eyes. When it's not in place, try to adjust it before the glue sets so it'll look perfect. So now put mascara on your real eyelashes so that it won't look like you have two eyelashes. This Bobbi Brown powder, it's called Pale Yellow. It is the perfect one to use to clean out any fallouts that might have fallen while you were doing your eyeshadow, especially when you do smoky eyes. And it also takes away your eye bags. It makes you look like you just woke up and you're all fresh. Make sure when you use this pale yellow powder that you blend it, blend it downwards and um, don't put too much on it because you wouldn't want a white ring under your eyes in pictures that you take. Here's my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial and I hope you guys try it too because it's a really nice color. Very seldom do people use um, this for their makeup but my sister requested it for her guesting so um, we she knows that I love doing like different colors on the eyes so um, I did it on her. Um, this is how she looked like. And it would be nice if I had like um, contact lenses on, that would be great. And um, well, if you like this video or if you have any like comments, this, please comment below if you have any requests that you'd like me to do. And also, um, please give, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And stay beautiful everyone, till my next video. Bye!